Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where I go through your team selections for all those people following this series, and I know some are, to hopefully finish in the top 5% globally. But if you're not part of this series, you still might want to watch it, you still might learn something, it might be interesting. I'd find it interesting if I was on YouTube looking at FPLers. So uh, let me get into this. Somebody kindly asked me to create a mini league, which I've now done. So the code is ZX0WGS, and I've put it down here in the bottom right in nice big characters, so hopefully you can see that. I've also created five playlists to put my videos into because the videos are very different. So how did we do in game week three? Lots of people did bad in game week three, so we don't need to feel bad that we did bad. So our bankers, Cancelo got zero, Trent got zero, uh, Jesus got four, Martinelli got six, Salah got eight, Haaland got six. Salah was our captain, so he gets 16. So we had a minimum of zero for all of these, maximum of 16, average of 5.3. Given that there are six players here, but one is the captain, which is seven, and we really want to be getting five points for each player, we kind of want to be getting 35 for these. So our bankers this week got 32 points. Ideally, we want to be getting at least 35 there. But it was a bad week for many, many teams, so it's okay. Goalkeeper, you'd have got either six or two. That's an average of four. Defender number one, you had one of these five. Trippier on six. Walker on one. Koulibaly got minus two. Zinchenko got six. Dunk got six. So you got between minus two and six for your defender, an average of 2.8. Second slot defender is James who got one, or Diaz who got one. So whoever you had out of those two, you got one. The midfielders, none of these returned. Diaz two, Saka three, Foden two, Kulisewski three. So you got an average of two and a half, whichever one of those you had. Now, I suggested you play your weak defender and right until near the end of the game they both had clean sheets they would have been on six and seven point each and then near the end of the game because they were playing each other they both let in a goal so they ended up with two points for Patterson one for Williams which was an average of one and a half so that was a shame. Now the midfielder that you would have had on the bench because of my suggestion was either Almiron who got seven points or Bailey who got five points. But because they were benched, they were no good to us because we had enough of the other players who were playing. So we had a minimum of 36 points. If you had the worst possible team out of the suggestion for this 5% game, you'd have had 36 points. The average was 43 and a half. The maximum was 50. The global average for FPL this week was below 50. But it, it wasn't a great week. Transfer for game week four. If you have Kula Bailey, sorry about that, my fault. He got sent off and got minus two. So get in Carl Walker if you can. But if you've already got three Man City players, get Zinchenko from Arsenal. But if you've already got three Arsenal players, get Dunk from Brighton. Now all we need to do is set the bench and the other 11 players will be right. So the bench goalkeeper for you is going to be Ward. The third place on the bench would be Archer or Taylor, depending on which one you've got. And then bench number two and one, Position number two, you want to put Williams or Patterson. Position number one, Andreas. And I think you're all going to have Andreas. So I think we're set. But just in case I've gone wrong somewhere and your bench isn't yet full, then Bailey would be the next choice for the bench. And then it would be Almiron. But I think your bench would be full before we have Almiron or Bailey playing. Captain choice. Best two players are Salah and Haaland. Salah is expected to be the highest scorer player this week. He's going to be the most captain player. We want to put the captain's hat, the old mule hat. He wants to go on Salah. So even if Salah blanks and has a really bad week, you're not going to fall behind the pack because so many people are going to have Salah. Your vice captain, I'm suggesting, goes on Haaland. There are other, there are other players in your squad that are expected to score higher. I personally like Haaland, and in any case, Salah really should be playing. So thank you to everyone who is playing this 5%. Like I said, I'm aware of a handful of people that are doing this, and as I wildcard in week 9, 
Of course, more people can join in at that point. I can't guarantee we're finished top 5%, but I do think it's feasible. And it doesn't matter at all that at the moment you're likely to be outside the top 5%. You may even be halfway down globally. With just three weeks in, really, really doesn't matter. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it. Please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I read all my comments and I reply if it's applicable. That is, if it's a statement, I might not reply. All right. Thanks, and don't forget to join the Mini League if you can. Bye.